work from Moore. And still, Connell is waiting. Flinders makes a good stop. Well, the corner almost dropped underneath the crossbar. Martin clawed it away. As you would expect, it's the home side who are on top, but it's a speculative effort. Scooped up into the air. Goodison underneath it. Goodison feels the full force of Bean's challenge and has remained on the ground. Chambi will get a free kick. Committed is the word for that challenge. Goodison seemed to injure his ribs. Flicked across goal by his own man and in. Peter Hartley has registered his first ever goal for Hartlepool United. And two minutes before half time, the home side make their pressure tell. Flicked across goal by a Tranmere head. Now Bean motoring forward, chased all the way by Welsh, who pings him down rather clumsily. Protests, most notably from Eds. Now Goodison gets involved. It is going to be a card. I would imagine it's just a yellow. And once the protests finally do die down, and the referee will deal with things in his own manner, Hartlepool can get on with the business of delivering the free kick, which Austin and Collins are keen to take. It is the yellow. He will have to be careful on his best behaviour. More. Trimet managed to keep it and then lose it and then almost win it back again. And Barnett this time. He's in trouble with the referee and gets a straight red card for that challenge. Charlie Barnett will play no further part in the game. A two-footed lunge, according to the referee. Neil Austin is the victim. Charlie Barnett, although he doesn't want to, will have to leave. Peter Hartley's first ever goal for Hartlepool means it's they who take all three points.